This is my favorite part coming up right now. I can feel it, but I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. One more time, guys. Oh, Lord. Oh, shit. I hang out here all day and just, and just watch the tiger run around. Then what are you going to do? Um, just keep him breeder. I want to have children with her. As part of my tough stance on immigration, Taco Tuesday will be changed to Pizza for Thursday. And what I say, your guys got, it doesn't affect you guys because your guys don't care about nothing but money. So every now and then I kick your f and stomp on you and put some kind of pain and inflict some kind of pain on you because you deserve to feel the pain, somewhat of the pain that I feel. I don't care about living or dying. I'm not no, I'm, I'm a dysfunctional mother f There were reports, Mike, that you were out partying in Vegas. Is that in fact the case? This is not true. This is not true at all. Um, one day I went out one day because you know sometimes you train. You just went crazy and bored. And I went to a strip club because, and I gave some uh, dancer a lap dance. But um, you gave her a lap dance. Yeah, that's just what I do. I like to do what I want to do. You were aware of what you were doing when you bit his ear. Also, I had, I was fighting for my life at the time. I may like finding cake more than other people. It's just who I am. I sacrificed so much of my life. Can I at least get laid? You know what I mean? I've been robbed of most of my money. Can I at least get a I fear him not even a little bit. What's wrong with this guy? I can't wait till the 28th. I'm gonna make you my girlfriend. <laughs> you say something you? You're sweet. I'm gonna make sure you kiss me good with those big lips. Rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Mike, you, you genuinely seem looser now than I, I've ever seen you. Um, what do you attribute that to? You just had it with all the all the BS. Um, probation officer. <laughs> Is that really the only reason? You, you just seem like you're enjoying it more than you ever had. Yeah, I'm having a ball. Okay. Having a Thank ball. you. And he's kind of big. He makes me nervous without his gloves and his shorts on. So if you ever try to intimidate me again, I'm gonna implant a bullet in his motherfucking skull. Cause I'm in pain. I want them to see pain. I want their kids to see pain. Lennox Lewis. I want his kids to. Oh, daddy. Are you okay, Dad? Yeah, I don't care about them because they don't care about me and my kids. So I'm getting in the ring, getting my hands on the guy. What do you suspect Orlin Norris to do? Um, get knocked out. Are you going to be more diplomatic in the future? Are you going to lose some of this anger? No, I need respect. If you show me respect and stop writing trash articles about me, then I'll show you respect. I was telling the Rick, I said, Rick, you know, he's trying to bring him on. He got rough with me, I got rough back. He talked to me more than I did. There's some bad things, you're nasty thing. That's the white boy <laughs> kill you. Are you talking out of turn? No, I think we're all talking together. I normally don't do interviews with women unless I fornicate with them. So you shouldn't talk anymore. Unless you want to, you know. I don't know anything about that. I don't know nothing about numbers. I used to know what I can do. How about kill this mother Okay. Um, pressure, hook into the body. It's a lot of punches that we worked on, a lot of punches. Just punch him. He's uh, apparently going to stand right in there and I don't punch. Know what he's going to do? But whatever he plans on doing, I'll be prepared. I don't want to no, 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 Everybody, I don't think for which girls I can't ever get the we get their numbers. They call me always the day to fight, the week before the fight. It kills me. I mean, I'm never gonna these girls because if I don't them the day before the fight or something like that, I'm never gonna see them again. So I just really don't. But the beauty couldn't chain, couldn't train the beast, <sighs> and he ate her. That man, come on, that's real white to make you look like um a evil black monster. I was, um, I was, uh, I was those, um, Japanese girls like it was, um, like it was eating grapes. You thought I was Caesar, you thought I was Caligula when I was out there with, in Japan, you know? I won't talk nice to you and talk about fornicating with you and letting you suck my d because if I was eloquent with you, you would still look at me as a scumbag. Now you don't understand it. 
these niggas did. They make my wife, like I left my, they had my wife think I'm a punk ass. They made me look like a bitch ass nigga, humiliated me. So really I left because I wasn't even a man in my household no more. That's really the real reason I left. I don't know nothing about being a heavyweight champ. Only that I know I know how to fight, right? I'm a nigga, right? You know, really, 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 really. I'm not saying like I'm a black person, you know, but I'm a, I'm a street person. I'm so, I don't even want to be a street person. I don't even like, I don't even like typical street people. Th th but that's just who I became. And put your mother in the straight jacket, you, you punk ass white boy. Come here and tell me that if I fuck you in your ass, you punk white boy, you faggot. You can't touch me. You're not man enough. I eat your ass all alive, you bitch. You know, I'm many things. Yeah, I'm a convicted rapist. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a hell raiser. I'm a father. A loving father. I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a semi-good husband. You know what I mean? So whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. You have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. Off. Fuck you, you hoe. Come and take my face. Fuck you, ass for that. Everybody. You bitch. Come on, you bitch. You're scared, coward. You got man enough to fuck with me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white pussy. Scared of the real man. I'll fuck you till you love me, faggot. You know what I mean? And I know I got my issues. I'm belligerent. I'm sometimes vicious and violent. But that's just because of what happened. Yo, anybody look at my life. Look at me. I've been embarrassed. Humiliation. Degradation and any other TIO one you can name. I figure you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit. Hey, with that come comment. on, come on. Nah, no, that was a piece of fuck you. That was a piece of shit. You know we're we're doing we're doing live TV. Hey, I don't care. What are you gonna do about it? All right, you gotta you gotta. You know, I was locked up ten years in prison. You know, a lot of times you didn't have anybody, so you know you had to search just inside yourself. I, I don't know about him, but I didn't do what they locked me up for. So I did it. <laughs> Mike, were you really sick this week? What was the problem? I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. What a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I gotta go home. My kids are gonna be scared of me. Look at me, man. What are you gonna do now in terms of your career, Mike? What are you gonna do? Okay. Okay. Is it nerve-wracking for you to do something like this, or is it more nervous for you to box? How does it compare? I don't know. It's more nerve-wracking for me to hear us talking to a rat piece of shit like oh, you. come on, Mike. No, because you're a piece of shit. All right. You really have to we're gonna we're, we're, shit. we're gonna we're gonna wrap, wrap up this interview. Well, thank you for to, thank you for coming in. Fuck you. You gonna I'm gonna make sure you talk about me. <clears throat> your grandkids and kids after that are gonna know about me. I'm gonna make sure of that they're never gonna forget about me. The great grandkids are gonna say, "Wow, wasn't that a bizarre individual?" Rhyming is a part of my life. I'm a die with rhyming kids and a rhyming. I don't let nobody judge me that don't know how to do what I do So if you don't like it, I watch niggas get hyped up with one single And get gassed and fall like a bad pass